Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my January Labs process of how I use uh, the product line. First, I like to do a mask. Um, I do a mask at least once a week to clear out blackheads and to do some anti-aging work on my skin. Um, this is a cinnamon, honey, and phenol based mask and I super duper love it. Um, I put it all over, avoiding the eye area and um, usually let it dry for about 15 minutes. Now you can see I put a heavy amount where I get blackheads or where I'm fighting wrinkles. I do a lot on my forehead, a lot on my nose, a little bit on my cheeks, um, covering everything but a thicker level on my nose and my upper lip where I'm really fighting aging, and then also hit the neck a little bit. This stuff's rad. Then I usually go and clean something, wait 15 minutes and let it dry. So we'll see you in a second. 15 minutes went by and it gets super, super dry and your skin feels not dry, but like, um, it gets really like, uh, I don't know. It feels like you have a crazy mask on your face. Um, I always like to use a warm washcloth to take this stuff off just because it does get nice and deep into your pores, which helps brings out all the tox bring out all the toxins. Um, but, uh, I find that if you don't use a washcloth, it takes a lot longer to get all of the mask off your face. So I like to use a nice lukewarm, washcloth to get all the mask off. And then following the mask, I always like to do the cleanser. Um, I use about a nickel size of the cleanser just to get any remaining mask off my face. And um, with the cleanser, I just love the fresh smell and it's really great for anti-aging and for acne, which are the two things that I'm kind of dealing with. So I usually put about a nickel size, you can see there, uh, it's super clear gel, gel and um, make it where it gets a little sudsy all over my face, massage it really well, just to make sure I get all the mask off. I love it so much. Then I'm just using, again, a lukewarm washcloth, or if I'm in the shower, I just usually use the shower to um, the water. This one doesn't need a washcloth, per se. It comes off really well. Um, but obviously, because I'm doing this in my kitchen this time, I'm going to use the washcloth. But um, I love this cleanser because it doesn't leave me feeling too dry. It's like the perfect amount of clean and um, doesn't strip my skin of all the oils. So beautiful skin. Then I love to use the restorative tonic mist, which is like a toner, kind of salty feeling smell. I love it so much. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. And then I choose a day cream or a night cream, obviously depending on when it's, if it's day or night. Um, and then just put it all over, massage it in nicely. The restorative day cream or night cream. Um, really get my nose and around my eyes and my upper lip and my neck and I put any like leftover lotion on my arms or on the top of my hands. Then I like to do the eye cream. I can't do eye cream at night. I can only do eye cream in the morning because I have really sensitive eyes. So usually in the morning I'm, I'll just throw this sucker on right when I go through my routine and leave it on pretty heavy under my eyes to do a little anti-aging fighting if you will. It's a great, and then I put any additional on my upper lip just to fight wrinkles there as well. That is the line. I love it so much. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Check you later.